And I don't know how many times I've tried to finish crossing off my list of tasks and the goals that I set to achieve for the month of January. Well, January is over and I've achieved nothing. Love's for beginners, ain't no witness, it slips through your fingers. I need to get my life together and I'm okay with baby steps. I'm just do what you wanna, promise you got time. Productive not busy because there is a difference don't you look backwards and you'll be fine come through and say what you need to don't let them put you down baby let me tell you what it feels like being independent i cannot be the only one who is a straight up mean girl to myself Keep looking forward 
It's the end of the month, January 31st to be exact, and I don't know how many times I've tried to finish crossing off my list of tasks and the goals that I set to achieve for the month of January. Well, January is over and I've achieved nothing. Okay, well, that's a little dramatic. Yes, I've been drinking my water, still going to the gym every day. I deep cleaned, organized, decluttered, restocked our home. I'm keeping up on the daily house chores, my planner, self-care, and that includes everything from journaling to getting excited about the things that I'm eating again. But when it comes to my goals and plans for social media, I'm not showing up. I need to get my life together. I need to create a routine that makes me feel good, that makes me feel my best, and a schedule that will move me closer to my goals and dreams every single day. And I'm okay with baby steps, okay? I am okay with baby steps because that is growth in the right direction. What I'm not okay with is being stagnant and more importantly, standing in my own way. So here I am once again bringing pen to paper but this time I'm starting over. I need a fresh, clean slate. No more working off the old list. I need to start over new and write down all the things that I so desperately need in order to hit a major life reset. And more importantly, I don't know what I gotta do for things to stick this time. Like, I want to be successful at this. Like, I don't wanna come a month and a half later and be like, getting my life together, getting back on track because I've fallen off and things haven't worked. I really need to sit down, get to the root of the problem and take, again, baby steps to get there. This is a process. I don't think there is an end game. There's always room for improvement. There's always room to grow. Um, but I just want this to be successful. The way I turned into a gym girly is the same way I want to tackle me really pouring everything I have into my social media goals and dreams. And all of that's lovely, right? It's beautiful to hear, but most of you guys are probably wondering where I've been. You guys, the month of January, my life, was completely all over the place. My schedule, my routine, my lifestyle, everything was literally flipped upside down. The best way I can describe it is I literally put my life on hold and immediately started living someone else's. Everything from house sitting and pet sitting at two different houses, one of those pets being a horse, Thank God for Derek. Like you guys, I'm not exaggerating. He really stepped up in the month of January and picked up the slack that I was just kind of like, I cannot do all of this. And I truly don't know what I would have done without him. So he took care of the horse while I took care of the cats. That's more my, my, my speed. And a lot of my time was spent helping out with the kids, filling in when the sitter couldn't. And honestly, you guys, like that is when the rug was pulled out from underneath me. Like I was not prepared for, for, for all of that, which makes sense because I don't have kids of my own, but I did what I needed to do. I survived, but in all honesty, you guys, like I am still recovering from all the effects it had on me mentally and physically and all the different directions that my life was being pulled in. Oh, and let's not forget all the expectations that surround the new year. It's a bit overwhelming at times. And honestly, you guys, like right now, I am currently just swaying swaying in this like in-between phase not really making any progress but also not taking any steps back like i'm just kind of stagnant and even though i know the current circumstances are temporary the feeling of disappointment and failure doesn't go away and that's okay i'm human i'm going to have different emotions come up but what's not okay is all of the negative self-talk that comes afterwards i cannot be the only one who is a straight up mean girl to myself like i'm not even kidding no exaggeration 
I am a straight up mean girl to myself and I'm not afraid to say it because I know I'm not the only one. Because in my head, I'm never doing enough. I'm not good enough. Why did you eat that? Why aren't you doing this? You're breaking out. You didn't really do the best you could. You didn't upload. You didn't post on TikTok. You didn't post on Instagram. It's been a while since you talked on stories. All of these things rush into my head and it's absurd because there is definitely a huge difference between giving yourself tough love and then being downright awful to yourself you know what i mean and the blinds get blurred with me definitely get blurred i try to you know give myself tough love and honestly lean more towards discipline but anytime I fail any little thing or if I'm not perfect, I just affirm to myself once again that I'm not good enough. I'm not doing enough. I don't want it enough. I'm just very hard on myself and I know that there's no such thing as perfection, but for whatever reason, I still set these impossible standards for myself and then beat myself up for not achieving this crazy balancing act that isn't even possible to begin with. And let's say I do achieve it, it's definitely not sustainable. And that's what I want, you guys. I want to create a routine and schedule that again, makes me feel my best, creating the room to grow and to challenge myself. I'm a work in progress, taking it day by day and like i said before i don't think the journey ever really ends but what i can say that has really really helped me the last few days maybe even week really get out of that negative mindset and negative self-talk is to separate my thoughts and feelings from me like I am not my thoughts and feelings they are separate from me everything in life is neutral we choose and decide what we give meaning to everything that's why one person can have their thoughts and feelings about men and somebody else can have a totally different opinion and outlook same thing goes with money career success marriage like the list goes on and the more we focus on something whether we want it or not is what is going to continue showing up in your life and me taking inventory on my past and just everything that i've been through it is so true you guys it is so true and what's so crazy is that 2023 was an amazing year for me maybe not like through social media and my youtube channel and things but as far as like my personal life i manifested so much in such a short period of time this home my car my camera money that fell out of the sky just there were so many beautiful things that happened oh and i dropped my phone in the toilet literally submerged there was nothing in there thank god but literally submerged underwater and it is absolutely fine that was like a week ago i don't know how but the mantra that i live by everything will always work out best case scenario couldn't be more true for me like i don't care what is happening in my life that remains true over and over and over again and I mean, you can easily see that that's true for you as well. No matter how dark it gets, no matter how broke you are, you always figure it out. Like there's just so many things that show us that there is positivity and abundance around us. We just need to focus on it more. And yeah, honestly, you guys, mindset is the name of the game. It is what changes everything. So sorry if I went on a little bit of a tangent, but that has truly, truly helped me. And the goal this year is to be productive, not busy, because there is a difference, my friends. There is a difference. I don't want to be filling up my days with things that don't actually matter. If it's not moving the needle forward in any kind of way, it's got to go. Okay? It has got to go. The 
procrastinating and making it seem like I'm busy but not really busy. It's continuing the self-sabotage of the fear of success and the fear of being seen kind of but not really. I'm trying to still figure that out um, but it's definitely more fear of success. I've got to let that identity go otherwise I'm never going to get to where I want to be. So yeah, you guys, that's my advice for the day. If it resonates with you and you feel like you can apply it to your life, great. If not, leave it. Um, and yeah, that's mainly what's been going down in January. It also did snow during that time, which was so freaking beautiful and truly what my soul, it's what my soul needed. Like a ghost in my mind I can't escape you I need to believe it was right Letting you go Cause you are like a ghost in my mind I wanna escape you But I do not believe it was right Letting you go I can't stand the thought of losing you Tell me, do you think of me too? Cause every song just reminds me of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you go Cause every song just reminds me of you and it breaks my heart You're still here though in my dreams I can't escape you like a movie on repeat the scenes just go on I'm hearing your voice in my dreams I wanna escape you I really think I made a big mistake I want you to know I can't stand the thought of losing you Tell me, do you think of me too? Cause every song just reminds me of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you go Cause every song just reminds me of you and it breaks my heart However, it didn't last long. The snow was only here for about a week, I want to say and then it just, the rain washed it away, which, you know, it is what it is. Definitely a short, short winter in my opinion, but again, I couldn't be more grateful for the beautiful, calm silence that the snow brings. And then I also did a lot of restocking in our kitchen. <laughs> All we have, baby But would you let it go? Uh, and the time's in my hands well, Tell me what I got to borrow In the city all alone No, don't wait for me to come home, baby well, Money and the fame Just for the name but that just ain't me uh, Rock oversized t-shirt uh, Stitches coming out the seams Got on some oversized dips So best believe Got some oversized dreams uh, Some tattoos in my skin Get faded on the weekends uh, Go to church on a Sunday Cause God is a woman 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 And I believe it was the same day that I put together our new coffee machine. Uh, rock oversized t-shirt. Uh, stitches coming out the seams. Uh, got on some oversized dips, so best believe. Got some oversized dreams. Uh, tattoos in your skin. Cocaine with your friends. Go to church on a Sunday. 
Tell me that God is a woman I see God is a woman I see God is a woman And yes, I said put together it came with destructions. Destructions, no, but that's what it should be called. I hate instructions, you guys. I avoid instructions like the plague. Like I don't, I'm not a fan of instructions. They don't make sense. I will try to put anything together without reading the instructions. And if it's just too complicated, that's Derek's department, okay? But I, I, I managed and was able to put it together. So definitely a win in my book. Definitely proud of myself. It honestly wasn't, wasn't much at all, but just again, looking at instructions, reading numbers one through eight or whatever, I was like, oh my God. But we got it put it together. I love it so freaking much. The coffee tastes incredible. I think it's just because our old machine was just too old and wasn't like cleaned out properly maybe. And just so the coffee lately has just been tasting so freaking good. And yeah, you guys, that is just a little update of what's been going on around here. I don't even know what this video is going to look like, which is probably one of the reasons why I've kind of been putting it off because it seems like it's gonna turn out good in my head, but when you sit down and edit, it can be a whole different ball game. So um, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update, let you guys know that I'm getting my life sorted, I'm getting it together, and you guys will be coming along this ride with me. Um, and yeah, I really just wanna pick up the slack and do better because I really wanna get back to feeling good, feeling proud and accomplished because I know it's in me, I know it is, and you know, it's just gonna take some time to get back there, but we are going to do it. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you guys are struggling like your girl, let me know down in the comments, and maybe you guys aren't, but I know there are people out there who are, because I've been seeing it on social media, which is honestly really refreshing to know that I'm not the only one who isn't hitting 2024 with the ground running. Like, did I say that right? I don't know. But you guys get the gist and down in the comments is where we can chat about it, lift each other up, all the things. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Go to church on a Sunday. Tell me that God is a woman. I see 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 God is. I'm just. Oh my God. I'm just very hard on myself. No, I would think it would look, mm, yeah, no. People think I look crazy. No, I think you're doing great. Thank you. Chloe, Chloe, you stoned? Huh? How's that catnip treating you? That's my girl. I'm just going okay let's pat the eye again that's going to be annoying i'm just gonna take one small puff because i do have a little bit of an outline a little bit of an outline to keep me on track because your girl can get sidetracked is this dead say hi say hello friends say hi it's been a long time oh that needs to not be in the frame <laughs> or does it so you know it's there no that's annoying i do like their tape the tape that they use is top tier Ooh. did i scare you so where have i <clears throat> oh <laughs> Oh. 
You got a little catnip on your cheek there, honey. All right, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> oh, great start, great start. Okay, this is too bright. Hold up just a minute. Been looking for some help just to find myself. Yeah. Been losing my focus like a thousand times before. Can't take this anymore. Cause I've been looking for something to change thoughts into motion. Been waiting way too long. Oh, oh. Yeah, waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me And to handle my emotions I was out waiting for something And if I close my eyes, it's all been a waste of time I was out driving a 